Padma River in Bangladesh is one of the largest rivers of the world, formed by the confluence of Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers. It's the country's economic lifeline, but also the cause of annual devastation. Every year, the river destroys productive agricultural lands, homes, habitats, and civic infrastructure, and leaves up to 100,000 people homeless and migrants in their own country. This annual disaster can be avoided by creating a stable boundary between the river water and the densely populated floodplains. Traditional concrete structures are not only expensive, but have also failed repeatedly due to technical shortcomings. Bangladesh needed a socially, environmentally, and economically viable and sustainable solution. Supported by ADB, the Bangladesh Water Development Board led the search for a solution to this problem. The $60 million ADB-funded Jamuna Meghna River Erosion Mitigation Project was designed to pilot innovations that can be scaled for success. We started by conducting extensive engineering investigation and surveys to select the river stretches suitable to pilot solutions while also protecting two large irrigation projects from acute erosion. The project developed an innovative engineering solution that combined geotextile bags and concrete blocks for embankment protection. These geotextile bags were fully capable of coping with extreme morphological changes of the rivers. The underwater geobag revetments performed much better in protecting embankments from erosion and cost less than half of the concrete block structures and were easy to maintain. Another successful innovation was the evolution of the structural design of the embankments, including geotechnical stability assessment and modern construction methods. Supplanted with innovative wave protection using grout filled jute matrices, a new type of embankment has been developed, which is resilient to future climate change. By the end of the project, we built 28 kilometers of riverbank protection, more than originally planned 12 kilometers, and at the same cost. Following this success, the ADB supported formulating a successor program, the Flood and Riverbank Erosion Risk Management Investment Program in 2014. Apart from adding around 50 kilometers of additional riverbank protection and nearly 30 kilometers of flood embankments, this program developed a systematic, long-term river stabilization plan for the Jamuna and Padma rivers. We continued innovating and moved to involve non-structural elements like large-scale bioengineering solutions. For instance, we identified that growing local reeds and vetiver grass can protect vulnerable embankment slopes by increasing the shear strength of soil by as high as 87%. And the vetiver grass benefits local communities by providing feedstock for cattle. And this is not all. We are now studying the use of larger reed fields to capture the fine sediments of the flood season and raise low-lying charland to higher floodplains levels. What was the result of all these innovations? We have stopped erosion in strategic places rebuilt part of the Brahmaputra embankment and developed a planning tool for the next decade. This has helped us to reclaim 1,700 hectares of fertile land for productive economic activity by local communities with nearly 10,000 hectares more to come. The cost of riverbank protection is amongst the lowest in the world at less than $3 million per kilometer despite the size and high morphological dynamics of the rivers. So what did we learn from these programs? We learned that even massive and complex rivers can be trained using innovative and cost-effective engineering and non-engineering solutions. This is particularly important considering the increasing vulnerability of deltaic landscape and coastal regions to climate change. We learned that using local resources such as labor and materials provide low-cost, green, and sustainable pathways to managing fragile ecosystems. We also learned that developing different small indigenous pilots and studying their efficacy over a period is important before upscaling. And most important of all, 
we learned that innovation is a continuous process and project design needs to continuously evolve to successfully address ever-changing future requirements and priorities.